Hi, I'm Ian Nethercutt, I'm the Supply Chain Director at ProBrand and I spend £35 million on IT products every year and I'm here to give you tips on how to buy IT for less. So, how do you beat and overcome this? Well, firstly I guess you need to look at the product life cycle and there's a, related, there's a key relationship between the product life cycle and the supply chain and, and how that enforces volatile, volatility in the IT market. For example, obviously, you know, new tech comes into the market uh, and that clearly will have a, an effect on price and stock. When it, you know, new tech comes in, there's going to be end of line products then phasing out and prices will be reduced um, and, and to drive stock out of the market and so on. So it, you need to kind of start to understand what that life cycle looks like. You know, with the IT market and price and availability changing so rapidly, it's so hard for IT buyers out there to keep a grasp. Uh, you know, on, on knowing that you're getting the best price. You know, it's really, really difficult. And, and guess what? You don't be surprised at all that your IT suppliers will definitely try and capitalise on the fact that, you know, of that challenge that you face in managing kind of stock and price. Uh, they'll definitely be trying to ramp up margins and, and capitalise on that, that lack of technical capability that, that exists out there. So if I now move into some, some probably real specifics now in terms of really how you can kind of combat this. So one thing I would say is you've really got to start working with your suppliers really, really closely. I think there needs to be a lot, lot more questions asked to them, certainly when it comes to things like uh, stock and price and things like that. You've got to be getting really, really close with them. Going back to the, the point around product life cycle, you need to understand what that life cycle looks like. You know, vendors will have roadmaps out there for their product. So, you know, try and get hold of those roadmaps if you can. You know, understand what the life cycle is of the, of the devices that you're looking to buy. And obviously, if they're coming to the tail end of their life cycle, that's really a good time to latch on to, uh, you know, maybe trying to secure some, some really, really good prices on that equipment. So it's good to understand what that life cycle looks like. Uh, you know, be aware of month end as well. You know, there's, when, when quotes are produced uh, out there in the supply chain, uh, a lot of the vendors typically will have monthly price lists as well, and prices can change quite frequently month on month. So if you're, if you're getting quotes towards the end of the month, uh, be, be very aware that, that actually the following month that price may go up, but you know what, it may go down as well. So, but that ties back into the product life cycle piece as well in, in trying to figure out when is the best time to buy. If you've got a lengthy PO pre process as well, think about reserving stock. It's definitely something that exists out there in the supply chain. A lot of the, distribution, uh, dis the distributors out there, they'll definitely reserve stock for the resellers. So if you've got a lengthy PO pre process, if it's gonna take you a week or two weeks to raise a purchase order, going back to that manual way of working, think about reserving your stock because you could get your PO done and, and when you come to place the order, guess what? The, the stock has disappeared. Uh, volume project deals, that's one to think about as well. Uh, check quote validations against project deals. You know, quotes will be valid in a whole raft of different, different time frames. I've seen quotes valid from one day all the way through to 90 days. So don't get stung by, uh, you know, thinking, right, I've got a big volume deal. I know this price is fixed for a long period of time. Uh, don't underestimate that. You know, prices might only be valid for a few days. So just make sure you check the quote validity period on, uh, on, on those quotes you're getting from your, uh, your, your suppliers. Uh, when you look at benchmarking, uh, you know, obviously we've spoken about price a number of times now. Uh, you know, benchmarking is really, really important. You've got to benchmark your suppliers to check you're getting the best value. But how do you do that? You know, you, you've got to find ways of, of, of efficiently benchmarking what you're buying, especially if you've got a big catalogue of IT products that, you, that you're looking after. You know, think about how you record those results. You know, is that going to be in a, uh, maybe in a simple spreadsheet at least? You know, there's got to be some way you start to record the results and start to benchmark what you're paying and to make sure you're getting, uh, you're getting the best deal. Um, stock checking, you know, this goes back to the point around uh, questioning your suppliers as well. You know, when, you, when they're telling you what the stock level is, ask the question, you know, where is that stock? Is it, is it actually in your current warehouse? Is it in a virtual warehouse? There's a lot of stock within distribution that actually sits in European warehouses. That's quite a common thing. So don't, just because stock's there, don't think you're going to get that next day or don't think it's readily available. It might be central European stock. And especially now with Brexit on the horizon, uh, you know, who knows what delays that might bring in bringing stock into the UK and things like that. So, so make sure there's, uh, there's definitely a lot of questions being asked there. 
Um, but uh, but that's it uh, for now. I mean, uh, that hopefully gives you some some pointers in terms of trying to manage that that volatility in the market. Uh, hopefully, I've summarised how much of a problem it really is out there, and, and hopefully how you can uh, overcome some of those uh, some of those challenges as well. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe for more insider information and email questions to askian at probrand.co.uk. Uh, but until next time, keep haggling.